big game three, even series, 1-1 between the Mets and the Cubs at Wrigley. Marcus Stroman on the mound, and Anthony Rizzo greets him with a two-run homer in the bottom of the first inning, and the Cubs take an early 2-0 lead. But Hugh Darvish would struggle for Chicago in the top of the second. Pete Alonzo would answer right back, admiring the blast as the polar bear goes yard to tie the game up at two apiece. 46 home runs in the regular season. That's his first of the postseason. Then how about the 2015 playoff hero, Yoannis Cespedes, who has been absolutely raking in this series. Hits one 445 feet on the fly, bounces out of the stadium onto the street to give the Mets the 4-2 lead. Cubs would come back, though. They'd make it 4-4. Anthony Rizzo would homer again. Right here, Jeff McNeil grounding into right field for a single. Starling Marte coming home, but what a throw from right. And Wilson Contreras applies the tag to keep the game deadlocked at four. But it would not stay there because the Mets would have their chance and Brandon Nimmo would send one the other way, his first hit of the series. And it's a big one to bring home Cespedes and make it 5-4. Then Rob Sagan getting the start. He joins the party. In between Baez and Russell, a slow roller to center plates Pete Alonso to make it 6-4. Daniel Vogelback comes up as a pinch hitter for the pitcher's spot, but Cubs would get out of the jam with a little 4-6-3 action to send the game to the bottom of the eighth. The Mets would tack on some more to make it 7-4, but now another double play. This time Wilson Contreras grounds into one. Lindor to McNeil to Alonso, and the Mets win it and are a win away from the NLCS.